Hi, James again from the 11 Plus Tutors. Today I'm just going to introduce, and we've done this in lessons recently, the idea of just very simple introduction to percentages. That's all we're looking at. Now, <clears throat> there is a method that we teach where you can use fractions to work out percentages. I really like that method, but I'm gonna show you today the way that schools um, introduce it. And actually, this method is perf perfectly fine for the 11 Plus from what I've seen. The types of percentages they're asking children to find in exams is never usually anything tricky, like 36.5%. Usually it's things like 15%. So this method is absolutely fine. If this is only, the only method that your child knows, it's fine. Now, I'm gonna add the caveat here that we go further with percentages than this. We get into the realms of things like reverse percent percentages eventually. Um, but this is, a, this is the essential starting point for children to understand. So uh, the very first thing, very first concept we introduce is that 10% is the same as a tenth, is the same as divide by 10. And if you see a fraction, this line means divide by. So it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Divide by 10. A percent is always out of 100 percent. So it's a, a common metric that we use to show everything on a relative scale out of 100. And it's, I tell kids, it's something that grown-ups use every single day of their lives. We see it everywhere. And kids can relate to this in some... with some respect because they've been into shops and they've seen sales and they've seen discounts of say 30% off. Kids understand this, they've seen it. So if we say 10% of 280, now one of the first things that kids learn when they come to me, and I've got another YouTube video on this, is how to multiply and divide by 10, 100, 1000. So just check the channel, there's a video on this. But we go one step back with the decimal point, so we would actually go back one here. That would actually be 28, or take the zero off, is 28. So it's a very easy concept, isn't it? Divide by 10, 10%. <clears throat> Equally, we could find 1% very, very easily. Percent, after all, is out of 100. So 1% is the same as, a 100th is the same as divide by 100. So if we wanted to find 1% um, of 360, we would go two steps back, one, two, 3.6 is the answer. Very easy. Um, so what we can actually do is use this knowledge to create composites. So we can actually put this together to find any percentage. And that's the beautiful thing about this. So if we wanted to find 15%, we could simply find 10% first, halve it, because after all that would be 5%, wouldn't it? Put that together and then you've got your 15%. So 15% of 200, find 10% is 20. Half of that is 10, put it together, it's 30. Very easy. If we wanted to find 11%, we could first of all divide by 10 to get 10%. Then we could divide by 100 to get 1% and put those together. Same idea. So you can see, you can actually find any percentage using this method. So we also teach kids there are certain percentages it's worth knowing off by heart. For example, 10%, 20%, divide by 5, 25%, same as a quarter, divide by 4, 3 quarters is 75%. We like the kids to know those ones off by heart. It just takes a little bit of pressure off. 20% is quite a common thing that we see. 30%, where you could divide by 10 and triple it, couldn't you? If you divide it by three, it's not strictly correct, is it? Because the third is actually 33.3 recurry. So it's better to find 10% and triple it. Um, here's the important thing that we see kids make a mistake with. If we wanted to increase, for example, there was a garment, say it was 30 pounds, and we said increase it by 10%, what we'd first of all do is find 10%, so that'd be three pounds, and kids forget to do this, you've got to add the three pounds back onto the original so it becomes 33 pounds. Equally, if there's a sale on, and they say decrease it or subtract it or take it off, we find 10% first, three pounds, we take it off, that makes 27 pounds. That's pretty much it for a general introduction to percentages. And to be honest with you, I get year fours that can master this, you know, it's not difficult stuff. 
Yes, we go further with this, and we do. We, we do things like called reverse percentages later on before the exam. Um, but everyone needs to start here. Um, and not just for the exam, for life. This, this is something we all use, isn't it? I hope you've enjoyed that very quick um, introduction to percentages, and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Thank you. Goodbye.